What's up guys? I'm just gonna make a quick no edit uh, video on how to use the MC101 with uh, your iPad. Uh, I'm gonna use Koala, Tornado, um, some fly tape stuff, and AUM. So just so you can see the MC101 is wireless. I'm using the WM1 uh, adapter and batteries so there's no wires attached to the ipad or uh, to the mc right now so first thing i'm going to do is uh, actually show you the settings on the mc 101 so i made four tracks as uh, drum tracks and then from here i went into the the settings menu of each track and made sure to turn the tx midi out to on and the TX note and TX CC. So those are all gonna be transmitted MIDI data from the MC101 to um, the iPad through the wireless MIDI. And then from here, um, I opened up Koala, went into my MIDI settings, and then I mapped everything to the pads on the MC101. So since there's four banks, A, B, C, and D on Koala, it kind of worked out really nice to have four tracks on the MC-101. So track one is gonna be A, two is B, three is C, and D is four. So you'll see that I've mapped everything out over here. And if you wanna map it, just select the pad and then come down to the MC-101 and then hit the corresponding pad. Since I'm on bank D, I want to make sure I'm on four and then just press a button and it's mapped. So I'll go ahead and get out of there. You'll see on uh, bank C, I have some samples. And um, it's super, super, super low latency. I haven't found any problems with latency from the MC101 um, to the iPad doing this. And I've been testing this for quite some time. So the next thing I'm going to do is open up AUM, create a new audio channel, and then I'm going to select the Koala sampler. <clears throat> and then... I will select a couple other effects. So we'll do flight tape two. Um, let's do low flight dirt. And then lastly, I'm going to do tornado. So when you're in AUM, you have to go to the meeting, uh, sorry, menu settings. Uh, MIDI control and then here in the top right you'll see no MIDI source tap to connect and then I'm going to tap the WM1 hardware and then exit out and then going back um, we need to click on the menu settings for Koala sampler and make sure that we connect it to the WM1 <clears throat> and we'll do the same for our apps. Uh, for Tornado, it's going to be a little bit different. We actually have to come down here to the bottom and then go to the Edit Channel 1 and then select the Tornado parameters. And here I could start MIDI mapping some stuff. So if we open up the app itself, um, you'll see all these really, really cool effects and you'll see one through eight. And so if you're looking at the settings, you'll see control one through eight. So I'm going to do control one and I'm going to map it to the control knobs here on the MC. So I'll hit learn. Give that a little twist. And 
and now all four of these are mapped. So if I go into Tornado, you'll see that I have them mapped out. And if I want to double up and use, let's say, Control 2 to do um, number 2 and let's say uh, number 6 at the same time, come here, go to Parameters, and then I also select 6, Learn, and then hit it. Uh, you'll see like a yellow triangle here that's just letting you know you have more than uh, one one parameter that that one knob is controlling. So if we go here now, you'll see that it's moving both effects. And then over here, um, back in Koala, if we have something playing, you could hear that the effect from Tornado is affecting what's going on. And the other fun part is if I went into the, let's say, Lo-Fi Tape 2 and I went to the settings, let's get over here, not presets, to the settings, I could start mapping these as well. So. I was playing around with the noise level and I was adding that to control one. So you could hear the noise coming in and see it moving. And then with Tornado, it's also applying that same effect. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, and the other really fun thing you could do is on the MC-101, since it does have a built-in sequencer, you could actually use that in conjunction of what's going on over here. So if I was to select the hi-hat and went to sequence, I could start putting in some notes. and it'll play it in sequence. So I'm gonna turn the BPM down to 79 over here, and then I'm gonna match it. So if I go to tempo, 79, it's gonna play along with the same tempo that's uh, master on AUM. So now we can do stuff like this. And if I want to live record it in from the MCA, I could do hit record. And since we're using the sequencer on the MC-101, we still have access to the um, the step edit um everything except for like the velocity uh will work so like the start point so i could start moving this around and um kind of changing the start point giving it some mild swing action going and uh the mute the mute groups work as well so or the mute chance. So if I were to like raise this to a hundred, <clears throat> you'll see that no no note is being hit right there. But if I were to put it at like twenties or wherever else, that's a percentage of that note being hit. So now we can start making like cool like evolving drum rhythms just by playing with the mute percentage and also like going with sub steps
yeah, but that's it. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out, leave a comment, hit me up, and um, I'll show you exactly what I did again. Or if you have any like cool thing you could add to this, like let me know. Um, I did go into the sequencer and you know started recording stuff, but I still find it a little buggy. I don't know if it's Koala AUM or just <clears throat> how the the record sequence works. Um, I can show you real quick. So if I hit record over here, uh, record enable. And then I come down here and I hit record on a new pattern. Um, if I hit play, it doesn't really catch it. It turns off the um, the record arm, so I have to record arm at a very, very precise time. So yeah, it's still a little buggy with how the sequencer and record works with AUM and Koala and hardware devices. Um, still haven't found the right combination, but once I do, I'll post another video on how I got it going. But yeah, that's it for uh, this video. And like I said, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thanks.